welcome back to the channel. My name is Susie and today we're going to be shopping for my summer wardrobe. I'm going to be taking you through the journey of trying to acquire a bunch of different pieces I've had my eye on at the moment. So I hope you enjoy and fingers crossed I actually find some stuff that I've been after. Bloomers. I have been on a serious hunt. There seems to be ones out there right this is what i'm wanting and i keep finding it on amazon and ebay they are clearly shipped from somewhere far away and probably drop shipping vibes like so i am seriously on the hunt i did get a couple recommendations by you guys though that i'm gonna check out the first one is the brand on screen it's so stunning like truly gorgeous if i had more money i probably would just immediately buy these no questions asked so i did find this listing on ebay which i will link down below it's not a full covered short but me being me just thought now nah, they're lying like it will fit my bum no they literally do look like full brief underwear from the front they look great and like perfect but the back is just pretty cheeky but how gorgeous are these colors together in theory this is actually perfect and it's gutting because i don't know what i'm gonna do now i think it will look good over a bikini in the summer and i'm gonna get some wear out of them this summer I promise. Okay, these Zara bloomers, I found these on Minted. They're a bit expensive. I think she had like the set and I was like, oh, I'm not sure. Found them again on Depop. And guys, I think I'm gonna buy them. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna fabric dye them baby pink. I don't think they look particularly vintage, but I think it's the color that is making them look like that. Do you know what I mean? Making them look like Zara. So I'm thinking if I buy baby pink fabric dye, they actually might look pretty nice. So. I think I might buy them. Okay, they're here and they're amazing. I was a bit hesitant when I bought them as I didn't think they would look the best. I thought they would look like cheap Zara. And to my surprise, they look really good. I'm seriously so beyond happy with these. They fit great. Um, I did buy the pink fabric dye, like I said, but now I don't know if it would ruin them as it might just be too much and it might be quite nice to have them this like off-white cream color. Also, for all I know, they could be made with horrible materials that don't even catch with dye. Oh, they're 100% cotton. That is really surprising. Do let me know if you think I should dye them or not because I bought today the eBay kind of like AliExpress Amazon one. I'll link them down below. They're arriving in a couple weeks so they won't be here for this video, but because they're white, it makes me think maybe I should dye them pink so it's not just like two of the same sort of color bloomers um so let me know now i'm gonna get changed into the outfit that i wore these in the other day and i absolutely love it it's just like my favorite outfit for summer that i've made so far this is exactly how i'd style bloomers everything is so girly but then i feel like this just makes it like calms it down a little bit and i'm wearing my victoria's secret like vintage little like slip dress underneath and the trims on the top like complement the bloomers so well there's so much pink going on it's so girly and the other day i wore it with like a bow in my hair as well like a ribbon i think it's fun with bloomers and you can play around with like layering and like tear systems like i kind of like pulled them down the other day as well and they kind of like are quite like low shorts but i think it kind of works right like i think it looks nice i'm obsessed and i'm so happy i got them and i always slate on zara but Look at me now. The Bolero. I've been on the hunt. I found one on eBay and I did end up buying it. And it was a little bit more baggy than I thought it was going to be. I didn't take a picture of them before, which is so stupid of me. But I ended up starting to sew it, making the sleeves a lot tighter. And like cutting off some access fabric and stuff. Didn't end up finishing the DIY before I was leaving. I literally did it half an hour before I was going on a night out, thinking that it was going to be ready in time. It wasn't. So I had to ditch that DIY, but I'm gonna give it a second go. I did it. It's probably one of my shabbiest jobs ever. <sighs> like, come on, look at that. I literally finished this so quickly, I couldn't care less. And I really like it. I do recommend getting this one. Um, if you want it to fit like mine, then you're probably just gonna have to sew it because it definitely did not look like this when it arrived. Like I had to take off so much fabric here and all here and a bit on the back as well. But I'm super, super happy with it now and I think it literally serves its purpose. I will say, because I've sewn it so badly, you can see there, like, it overfolds and then you can see the, like, underneath stitching, which is quite ugly, but... But I think I paid, like, £7 for it, which is not terrible. And if I come across one again that is, like, slightly better fabric, I probably will buy it. But for now, it's really good. The only annoying thing is, like, I think the shoulders just probably look a little bit dodgy, but... 
I'm so happy with it and I'm so happy that I finally have a proper bolero now. Okay, this is probably what I'm most excited for. I've had a big session on Vinted Off for the last couple of days, but I've stopped myself from looking at any of the things I've been saving until this video so everything can be like fresh. Okay, first off, this random bikini that I found, it really reminds me of Gingamus. Is that how you say it? Like, I swear they have something in this similar pattern. It's from Accessorize, it's size 6 slash 8. Zooming in, I think that it's like gold instead of brown. That's actually not that bad. You know what, that's actually kind of cute. And I don't need any more bikinis. And I literally thought, thank God I don't, because I don't want to go down the bikini wormhole of Vinted, because that was me literally last year. I think I'm going to buy it. <laughs> I talk about it but on the channel and it's my love for everything ballerina cool, very cool at the moment and I really want to get more pieces like that in my wardrobe so I've been on the hunt on Vinted and Depop for these kind of pieces and a big thing that helped me is typing in lace ribbon and just getting any results coming up with pieces with lace and ribbon and most of them actually were quite spring and summer themed like very dainty pieces and I found so many that I love. I really like this yellow one. I found two sellers selling it. It very much reminds me of something that somebody from Disney Channel would wear. I think I'm literally just in like a tunnel like for everything kind of dainty like this. I don't think I'd actually end up wearing that. I found so many lovely dainty like ballerina tops on Vinted. I don't think I'm gonna get any of these ones though but if you want it definitely go and buy it. I also found this skirt stunning. Love that whole vibe. This yellow skirt is lovely. I feel like I've been seeing a lot of yellowy things like this on my Pinterest and it very much fits into the whole like ballerina aesthetic. Now on some ballerina stuff on Depop. I also typed in lace ribbon and I got so many good matches a lot of them are just so expensive i just don't think it's really worth it a dress like this is gorgeous and i think would look amazing um over the top of some white bloomers like come on it's like the perfect amount of like a short baby doll dress i think it's absolutely stunning and i'm gonna resave that so i can remember it again same goes with this sort of dress with some nice um bloomers underneath gorgeous the skirt from love chat fancy is gorgeous so many of these brands like do this whole style so well it's a couple days later and i found some more pieces i've realized that i really want to get a lacy mini dress i found this one from victoria's secret it's stunning what is it like 115 pounds like there's no way i can spend that but something of that vibe super ethereal and i did find this one it's originally from river island which is very surprising and it's also kind of expensive it's like 25 pounds but something about it I feel like would look good. I do really like this. I think it feels expensive for Vinted, but if I saw that on Depop, like I'd probably be like, oh, that's actually quite a good price. This other dress as well, this is the only picture that she's got of it. And she's captioned it like Ibiza dress. And I can't really work out like the vibe of it, but I kind of want to buy it. I don't know if that bow is like a cherry or something. It kind of looks like cherry crochet or something. Maybe I want to buy that. One more dress that I found that I feel like is a contender. It's a bit of a wild card. <laughs> it's this one. I see a vision with it. I feel like it doesn't look the best on the hanger, but it really reminds me of that um, Tinkerbell like pixie hanger chief hemline it has potential i don't really know what's going on with the neckline i think it's like a halter neck but there is something about it so i think i'm gonna buy it very randomly i found these jack wills pajama bottoms don't even know how i got onto looking at jack wills but i did and i found this green and baby pink striped ones i've never seen this color pattern before by them i think it looks really really lovely and i'm one of those people that do like wearing pajama bottoms as trousers out i've always sort of done it and i always found them like so comfy and just like I don't know, it's a nice thing to do. I think I wanna buy them. I did manage to haggle her down. They were up for 15 pounds and I was like, no way. So I've asked her for 10 pounds and she said yes. So I think I'm just gonna cave and I'm gonna do it. I really wanna get another baby pink linen vibe skirt for summer. I don't have any like that. And I found a few contenders. This one is gorgeous. It's just 30 pounds and I just do not think it's worth the money. I did also find this one. It's super cheap, but it just doesn't fit me. I also found this one love the embroidery i love like the layered system on it it feels a little bit expensive compared to the other one that was two pounds and fifty also it doesn't fit me then i did find this one which was a little bit cheaper so i feel like maybe i should get this one it also isn't my size so i might have to sew it i do love that 30 pound one that one is my favorite but with saying that i could get one of the cheaper ones and then just buy a ribbon and just sew ribbon onto it 
I've been seeing ribbon skirts like that all over my Pinterest where people are like weaving them in and out of the skirts. Come on, I could so do that. So maybe I should just buy the cheaper one and buy some ribbon and then there we go. Okay, moving on to some jewellery pieces. I would absolutely love to find a butterfly necklace of some kind. Miss Ruby Lynn was wearing this one the other day on Instagram and I absolutely love it. I did get a little bit more luck with the butterfly ones on Depop. They were kind of all international though, but this is definitely the vibe I'm looking for. So I thought it was worth saving it anyway. This one in particular, the like see-through one, gorgeous. Last night I had such a good session on Vinted for butterfly necklaces and I got so lucky and I'm definitely gonna buy one today. I just do not know which one. This one is my joint favorite. I love the color of it. These ones are also kind of cute because they both got like big pendants. But I don't know if they would be too big. I love this silver one and it kind of reminds me of the Ruby Lynn one, like that sort of style, like the way the wings are and stuff. But then this one is also my joint favorite. It's got a super in your face like chunky diamante butterfly and I really really want to get it so I need to decide between that one or the purple one I'm not sure I might have to decide later tonight but I'm gonna get one of them poncho time I really really want to find one this one I actually quite like it it's from Gap I think that colorway is very nice quite 70s this pink one quite like this it's a really nice mix of pink and white in my head I did want one where you can see holes through the knit through the crochet as I think it just is more fun you can play up with layering I found this blue stripe one the big fat scoop neck makes me think I could probably wear it off one shoulder and that could be kind of fun this one was the first poncho that I saved to be fair very see-through with postage I'd pay four pounds maybe I'm gonna come back to that one if you watch my summer trends video then you know how much I've been loving the hot pans and those obnoxious like funny slogan mini shorts and I've been on the hunt and I'm not gonna lie I found it really really difficult to find ones on Vinted. These ones are kind of good they're originally from Topshop Moto. £8 feels a little bit steep though. I did also find these ones these are from Depop from Remass. Something about all the fruit I just really like it and I can imagine it like looking really flattering and then I found this pink one and they've got red piping on them they're from the kids section okay I think they're like a girls what are they like girls 14 years and I kind of see them working and I really like them and they're only a few quid and I'm like oh you know what they might be my favorite then I did find these hibiscus print ones I think they would actually be so flattering the way they like, go up on the sides and have like the tie detail I do really like them also with the whole slogan thing because I tried my hardest to find stupid funny slogans I did find this one listing on eBay, I'll link it down below. And this is definitely the vibe of shorts that I would buy all of my girlfriends to wear on holiday together. The slogans are so good, I think they're really fun. And they all look like they're so badly made, like the quality would probably be awful, but that's the point, like they're meant to look so bad. I really wanna get some more football shorts. I have this white pair, but I really wanna get a different color one. I was just exploring the boys section on Vinted for this because there's always endless supply of like boys football shorts on Vinted as you can imagine. These England shorts, they're kind of nice. I think they're all right. I think they're like tracky bottom material. It's got a little 10 on the back. It's kind of a cute detail. That one's not bad. I really love this sort of green colorway, getting something fun like this, but this is a Sunderland football club. I don't support Sunderland. I technically support Man United, but I'm not even a big football person anymore. So I feel like it just feels wrong wearing a football club unless it was Man United. These ones, I actually like these. These are Portugal. I literally just said I feel weird wearing um, a club that I don't support, but it feels different when it's an international club. Am I right? They're 11 years old. They look kind of short. So I think they may be kind of like tight and just like a nice short, short look. Good for a festival, that type of thing with a bikini top. These ones are okay, they're from the 2012 Olympics. That was too recent. Flashes me back to me dressing up at the Olympics with a flag on my back, I can't. I'm so out of breath. I just finished work, ran to co-op, picked up all these parcels. A few are missing, and for me to get this video up in time, they may not make the end of this video, but I know what everything is. So let's see what we get. You never know with vintage, sometimes people put letters in. it thank you for your purchase cute I like this I really like this I think this is actually really adorable and it goes with the boots perfectly I feel like a cowgirl I feel like a fairy oh god 
I'm not like in love with the way it looks on me. Maybe it's because I feel quite pale and these are very pale colours and I feel like it's washed out. But wait till I'm on holiday in Italy this summer. Hopefully with a nice little glow. I paid £13.50 for this. Love it. 10 out of 10. The football shorts. I kind of can't take myself seriously. I'm in love with the shorts, but they are bloody tight on me. And I'd say I'm surprised they fit so tight, but I really shouldn't be. What size did I get? 11 years. 11 years. They're very tight. They are quite nice though, and I think they'll become um, a good summer staple. And I bet they look good, like these sorts of shorts with like Adidas trainers like that. But they were only six pounds, so I feel like that's not bad. And I really like the detail on it. <gasps> Bikini! I'm not impressed. I don't know if it's really picking up, but just compressing everything. I feel like the bottoms might be fine. And sometimes you want a tighter bottom because then they don't fall down and like expose your bum crack when you're getting up the pool. So I think these will probably be fine, but see, that's kind of cute. Like I can imagine this beach club. Um, it would actually be quite a good tanning bikini because you're not going to get lines here, so it's okay. I expected better things, so I'm a bit disappointed. How much did I pay? I paid £6.37. That's the same price as the shorts, which makes me think it's quite a steal, to be honest. This is a size 8... Oh, size 8 bottom and a size 6 top. That explains it all. Oh well. You know what? It could be worse. I actually think it's not that bad. In theory, I love this though. It's just the top. I wish it fit better. I wish it was a bigger size. It's absolutely killing me at the back here, but hey ho. I think this is a cool, a cool outfit. I predict that this might be another dress. Yes! This dress, I think I was most looking forward to. I've got high expectations. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh my God. I, I kind of in like disbelief that I managed to find this dress. Like I literally thought I wasn't finding anything from my Pinterest with this ballerina prairie aesthetic and I was finding it so hard um, without spending a fortune. But this little cutie, okay. Like this is kind of everything. Like this is adorable and some really cute hair, ribbons, duh. Anyone remember this when I bought this at the charity shop in my last come thrift with me and I was like, ooh, I can imagine this in summer like with a white prairie skirt, ooh. This is exactly the type of piece I thought would work with it. So let's have a look. Oh, this is really cute. I feel very much like a farm girl, like a countryside chick. <laughs> what did I pay again? I paid 30 pounds. This was meant to be a cheap session, Susie. I don't know what possessed me. I kind of want to try it on with a bikini top because I'm really not liking the way this looks right now. Like I much prefer the bottom half. I think the bottom half is beautiful. Doesn't really do much, but I kind of like the way it looks. I'm such a bikini top person, like I really like the way they look casually, like out and about, and I think it just like adds a nice random layer. I really feel like I actually killed it. I'm so pleased with myself. Yay! Yay! I just need a nice glow. I do be looking pasty, okay? Just follow me on Instagram because when I'm away this summer and I have a little bit of a glow on me, I feel like this type of dress, as long as well as the other dress, like it's just gonna look so much better. Yeah. These are the swim shorts, aka the booty shorts. That little detail, you know what it says? It says super babe. I love that. Oh, for God's sake. These are tight and they've got like elastic. Oh Lord. They've got elastic here. So it's like digging into me. And I feel like, again, this should be too tight. Like, I'll be feeling insecure. But, uh, not even from the bum does it look good. From the front, they're not bad. But from the back, it's like, oh, what's going on there? Like, it's just not that flattering, I don't think. Okay, final parcel today. Another dress. This has actually been dress central today. I'm loving it. No. You know what it reminds me of? Something that Gabby would wear from Desperate Housewives. Like, Queen, go off, she's my favourite. But this is very intense. Like, this is kind of cute. This is just... This... Oh! There's a big fat rose. That doesn't help. This is exactly the fairy, wispy handkerchief dress vibes I was going for. The top's kind of throwing me off. Like, I feel very dramatic right now. Like, there's just a lot going on. There's a lot of ruffles. I don't even know what to say, to be honest. I think this has got to go. It's a couple days later and three more parcels came. The linen skirt. I'm shook. I thought it was going to fit weird. 
I was gonna have to do loads of tailoring because um, it wasn't gonna fit me right. It's literally perfect. It's the perfect low-waisted maxi skirt and I'm obsessed. I'm so happy that I came across this and I bought it and that I didn't buy the other one that was really expensive and I bought this one instead. I think it's perfect. I don't know if you can tell but it's got that really lovely um, like swirl detail on it. It's like super subtle but just adds something special. I did buy ribbon to do the DIY with and now I'm like oh I don't know if I want to do it and possibly ruin it so let me know in the comments if you think I should do that I just don't want it to look a bit like costumey and like I don't know it could look alright if it was just at the bottom so let me know what you think if not I've literally just bought like three meters of ribbon for a what so don't really know what to do with it yeah this is cute I honestly am beyond happy with this skirt Next I'm gonna try on the Jack Wills PJ bottoms. I love them. This is exactly what I wanted. I really hope you all see the vision too. Yes, I look like I'm wearing pajamas. They're literally perfect. I did not think they were gonna fit like this. They're very low-waisted, which is kind of unexpected for pajama bottoms, right? I'm wearing them with one boot here, but then I also wanted to see what it looks like with my superstars, and I kind of think it works with both. I think this top in particular is going to look so good in the summer when I have a bit more of a tan and I'm not as pale, like, all of these colours together I think are so gorgeous. Same with my Sophia and Found boob tube, with like hair up like this and a crawl clip, like a little travel outfit or like a cute sightseeing outfit, do you see the vibes? I see it, this is really cute to me. And then also you can definitely wear it up with like a corset, like a very dainty corset style top and I just like, I see it working. I really do, and I can't be the only one. I think if, like me, you want to get into wearing pyjama bottoms, you should look up Jack Wills because they're really thick, and I'm pretty sure these were, like, pretty much brand new, so, like, they feel new, um, and they're not going to be see-through, and I think, like, the colours are really lovely. Like, the only annoying thing is the fact that the bow is literally here to stay. It's all up in your grill. Like, it's actually so obnoxious. I don't know if there's a way that I can make the bow a little bit less intense, so please comment down below if you have an idea for me. Okay, the last thing we're going to be trying on... The poncho! I feel like this is exactly the vibe I was going for. It's kind of itchy though, and it's pissing me off. But I am very happy I did choose this one, because I think the design is gorgeous. Like, how stunning is that? It's such a nice design. I will probably cut off these fringes, but... No, I think it will grow on me. I think it will. This is the sort of vibe that I would wear it to, to a festival. Um, my necklaces keep getting caught in it though, and it's really, really itchy. I think if you were like distracted the whole day, like busy, you probably it probably wouldn't be that bad if I was drunk or something. But um, I don't know, like everyday wear, I think I'd actually go a little bit insane because of the itch. But the fabric is gorgeous. Like I'm so glad I picked this one. I feel like it's gonna grow on me a little bit right now. I do feel a little bit like a hippie grandma. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm just like. A bit, I don't know, taken aback, I guess. Anyway, and of course, you will see me style these pieces up a little bit more in future videos. And if you follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok, you'll be seeing like how I'm styling the pieces every day. And I'm really excited for that and to see all the outfits I'm going to come up with. So follow me on my social media to keep up with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun doing this kind of different style video. Subscribe if you haven't already, it means the world. And I will see you in my next video.